OK, so some key points to remember about exam technique. Lots of students fail to gain marks on describe and explain questions because they think it means the same thing and it doesn't. There are very different marks given for describe and explain questions. If it's a describe question, it means put into words the pattern that you see. For example, describe the trend on a graph. What does the line do on a graph? Does it increase or decrease? Does it rise and then fall? Make sure you quote some values from the graph. For example, state what the peak is if it goes up then down. Explain is different. It means give the scientific reason for this. So you need to call upon your knowledge and understanding to give the scientific reason behind what you see. So here's an example of a describe question. So the question might say, describe the pattern shown by the graph. So let's have a look at this graph. It's a graph to show the levels of LH hormone in the first 22 days of a woman's menstrual cycle. So this would be a two mark question. The first mark would be for describing the line. So for saying that the line goes up and then goes down. And the second mark would be for quoting a value of the graph. So for example, for saying that the levels of LH reach a peak on day 14. That's using a value of the graph. So explain questions. This means use your knowledge and understanding to give the scientific reasons behind this. So here's an example. The graph shows the rate of CO2 production by a compost heap at different temperatures. Describe and explain the pattern of CO2 production. So let's see if we can get four marks out of this. So have a look at the shape of the graph. What shape does the line make? What are some values you can give for that? And then try and explain what's happening. So here are your four marks. The rate increases with increasing temperature. Let's give some values from 2 centimetres cubed per hour at 0 degrees to 25 centimetres cubed per hour at 20 degrees. Now let's give an explanation for this. What's your knowledge about this? Why do compost heaps make more CO2 when it's warmer? Well, you've got the microbes respiring and they respire faster at warmer temperatures. We know that from the specification. Microbes like moist, warm, oxygenated conditions, but it's warmer. They'll respire faster. So if they respire faster, they produce more CO2. Some questions will ask you to make comparisons of things. So they'll give you some data about two things, for example, two drugs, and you have to make comparative statements. So what this means is looking at them and making a quality judgment about them. One is bigger than the other, or cheaper, or has a higher success rate than the other, or works faster, for example. So without the er bit on the end, all you're doing is making a simple statement, this one is cheap. Well, you're not comparing it with anything else then. So you have to make a proper comparative statement 